Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to be factoring by grouping for polynomials of a higher degree. So a higher degree is something that's not a quadratic. It's something that's x cubed, x to the fourth, x to the fifth, and, and so on. So we're going to be doing grouping, which is actually something you're really familiar with. And I think you guys are going to have a really um, much easier time with this method because it is actually kind of like factoring a trinomial, only the first step of splitting the middle term is kind of already done for you. So notice in this first example, I'm on page 10, by the way. Notice in this first example, I have 8x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 1. So I already have it in four terms. I am going to go ahead and group the front two and the back two. And I'm going to proceed like I would with the factor in quadratic trinomials. So once you have four terms, you group the front two and you take out your GCF. So here I've got a GCF of 4x squared. And when you take out 4x squared, you're left with 2x minus 1. In the back two, I've got 2x minus 1. I can only take out a 1. So I've got plus 1 and 2x minus 1. So now you can already see your twins, 2x minus 1, 2x minus 1, and I've got 2x minus 1 times 4x squared plus 1. And the 4x squared plus 1 is coming from here and here. So now the only difference between factoring a quadratic trinomial and factoring by grouping once you have the four terms. Um, in this example and in many of these examples, you're not done here. So from the last video and from the last section, you learned about sum and difference of squares. And in this current result, we actually have a sum of squares, 4x squared plus 1. So 4x squared is a perfect square, it's 2x squared, and 1 is a perfect square, it's 1 squared. So since I have an addition sign, that means I have a sum of squares, which means my factors here will have i's in them. So 4x squared plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 1i, or plus i, and times 2x minus 1i, or just minus i. Because of the plus sign, I have the i's. 2x times 2x gives me 4x squared. i times negative i gives me positive 1. So my final answer is 2x minus 1 times 2x plus i times 2x minus i. So a good giveaway that you have to continue going on a problem like this is that you still have an x squared. So that's when you're, when you're going to look for if you have to keep going. I'm going to do one more example below. So let's do, let's just do 2a. So the first thing I look at is grouping the front two and the back two. Out of the front two, I can take out x squared. And when I take out x squared, I'm left with x minus 4. And out of the back two, I can take out 2. And I'm left with x minus 4. So now I've got x minus 4 times x squared plus 2. So the one that I'm looking to take further is with the x squared. Now, 2 is not a perfect square, but I'm still going to factor it out so that I have the square roots. So it's still considered a, um, the idea is still a sum of squares, but the square root of two, we're just gonna leave as the square root of two. So here, notice the square root of one was just one, so it was one i and one i. So here, the square root of x squared is x, so I've got x plus i square roots of two and x minus i square roots of two. So this can still break up, um, you still have the i's because of the plus sign, but then the 2, since it's not a perfect square, we just leave it in the square root. So this is equal to that times that, and then I've just got the x minus 4 in the front. 
So this here would be my final answer here. So whenever you see that x squared plus something or x squared minus something, you're looking to take it further. This was equal to x plus i squared to 2 times x minus i squared to 2. 4x squared plus 1 was equal to 2x plus i, 2x minus i. So here's two examples of factor by grouping. I think the beginning part is really solid and should be comfortable to you. It's that second part and knowing when to take it further that you need to work on.